Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are discuss about the latest news is that Google's AI apparently learned Bangla without any training before we get started. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. The Google Bard AI chatbot, developed by Google, has taught itself Bangla, a language it is not supposed to know. In recent months, Sundar Pichai, CEO of Alphabet, the parent company of Google, has participated in a number of interviews and podcasts, providing extensive insights about the organization's future AI aspirations. Pichai and a few other Google executives were featured in a CBS 60 Minutes TV segment. Pichai spends a lot of time in the interview talking about AI and its effects on society. According to Google tech executive James Maniaca, the company's artificial intelligence has reportedly picked up a language on its own without any instruction. Maniaca told CBS 60 Minutes that the company's AI can now translate all of Bangla with only a small amount of instruction in that language. Many Google experts are perplexed and confused by the development because it seems that the AI has picked up knowledge that it was not programmed to have. During the discussion, CEO Sundar Pichai also recognized that AI has a black box component that even specialists are unable to fully understand. You don't comprehend everything, and you're not really sure why it stated this, he added. The program explains how Google Bard started teaching itself abilities that were unexpected for the chatbot. One Google AI software, for instance, adjusted on its own after being prompted in the language of Bangladesh, which it had not been trained to understand, according to Pichai. Bengali is the language being discussed here, which is also extensively spoken in the Indian states of West Bengal and, to a lesser extent, Tripura and Assam, in addition to Bangladesh. James Maniaca, SVP, Google, continues in the video by saying that the algorithm has learned to translate all of Bangla after being fed just a few commands in the language. Margaret Mitchell, a former Google researcher, went to Twitter to refute the statement with facts. She said that Bangla interpretation has been programmed into Google's Palm, the AI model that served as Bard's inspiration. Bangla is one of the languages on which Palm has been trained as can be seen from a quick check at its datasheet. But the demonstration of Bard's Bengali proficiency on a single English prompt suggested that the computer could teach itself other languages. On Twitter, experts soon clarified that this was untrue and that Bard had already received millions of tokens for Bengali training. Now the 60 Minutes segment has drawn criticism from experts for misrepresenting the capabilities of generative AI and for giving these algorithms more power than they should have. That's all we have. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.